Hey guys, Super Cichlids here, and it's time for another Super Cichlids video. Today I'm going to be doing my tank walkthrough, and here we go, starting off at the 40 gallon breeder. It's a 40 long. Uh, was my all in Buna breeding tank, but I sold all those guys off, and you'll see why in a second, or if you watched my video I posted before this one earlier tonight, then uh, you'll know why. So, yeah, starting off here, we got my Uratus male. He's my first cichlid ever, and I love him. He's a really nice Imbuna for a change. And it just sticks to his own dominant male right now, so he's showing really nice color. And uh, here we got... Uh, Trophius, I think is what it's called. She's a female. She is mean. But, uh, my sister loves him. Or her. Sorry. So, deciding to keep her. And, uh, we got the Damasoni. He is mean guy. Keeping him. Keeping him for my uncle. And, yeah. Then we got some little fry in here. Just kind of grown out away from the fry tank, which you'll see in a second. This was my uh, yellow lab mix. First successful fry. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, moving right along. So, this video isn't an hour long. Um, yeah, that's the 40 gallon. And... You'll see more and more uh, updates here because I'll be moving fish around and making sure that my new uh, fish that you'll see in a second uh, get at home. So I'll keep you guys updated on this tank and let's move along to the fry tank. Hey guys, we're here at the fry tank and what you're seeing here is mixed imbunas. Uh, they're about two... One to two inches, some three, four. And um, they're looking really nice, getting ready for sale here. And uh, yeah, so hopefully I can sell some of these guys back to you guys. But uh, they're looking good. They're hungry as always. I feed them twice a day. Um, not shouting out any names here, but um, I feed them... New Life Spectrum. And they've been growing like weeds. So keep feeding them those. And yeah, not too much to see here. Just lots of grown up fry. This is a 30 high tank with a pleco and a bristle nosed cat catfish. As you can see down there in the bottom right. And uh, yeah, he's kind of cool. I I like him. But yeah, so we'll start selling these guys soon and shipping them to you guys, hopefully. Um, as long as you're in the United States of America. And uh, yeah, so move right along to the next tank here and you'll see what I've been waiting for for the last three days. Hey guys, here we are at the 10 gallon quarantine tank and... Uh, yeah, so... Let's show you guys what I got in here that just got in today. Uh, long story with these guys. If you want to know what happened, I'm not going to go over it all right now. Um, but it was a battle to keep them alive. Let's just say that. And uh, I'm actually surprised that they made it. Um, got the fish from Imperial Tropicals. Took about uh, two days to get here and... Yeah, so if you guys want to know more about these guys and watch them, it's a it's a breeding group, of course. One male, three females, and there should have been a juvenile, but he was DOA, which means dead on arrival. And uh, yeah, it it was kind of sad because all the fish were upside down in their bags and. I thought they were all dead, but I saw their gills moving. So I put them in here, and they laid on their sides for a little bit. 
But uh, after about an hour fight, I finally revived them. And they're doing great. The male is sub-dominant. Um, but he's coloring up amazing. Uh, so far, I love this guy's personality. Hoping we'll get some nice fry out of him soon once I get him in that 40 gallon. And uh, yeah, so that's that's all you need to see here. It's just a 10 gallon quarantine fry tank. Uh, whatever I need it to be, it's there. And it was there today when I needed it. So, uh, yeah, if you guys want to see more about these guys, uh, then go ahead and check out my last video. Um, the semi-unboxing video. And uh, you can see more about these guys. Right now, they're doing great. They're a little bit skittish. Which, I mean, I can't blame them. They were pretty much goners. And they finally came back to reality here that I need them to breed, so <laughs> we got them going there, and that male is just stunning, I don't know if it comes through fully on camera, but he is just amazing, like a creamsicle popsicle, uh, <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna head down to the Oscar tank, and uh, yeah, show you that tank here soon, um, yeah, See you guys there. Hey guys, we're here at the Oscar tank, and as you can see, I switched some stuff, some stuff around, took out most of the plants, put a little sandstone rock in there. It's looking great. The Oscars have not bred, if you've been wondering, but uh, the parrots, I think, have laid eggs. Um, they were in and out, kind of fanning the rock structure that I'll show you here in a second. Uh, I don't know. They probably haven't laid eggs because they aren't guarding it. So, uh, yeah. That's all I got to show you here on the Oscar tank. And, yeah, not too much has changed, but a little bit has. So, we'll see you guys next time on Super Cichlids videos.